Good morning. Welcome to BGS Online Academy Tutorial. Thanks for watching our YouTube videos online. Please, if you have not yet subscribed, please do well to press the subscribe button and the notification bell button in order to see all of our educative videos online. Please remember to share this video with your friends, families, relatives, and colleagues so that we can serve more people better. Thank you and God bless you. Today we are considering another topic under physics. Under physics in preparation towards what? Towards Jam 2022. And today we'll be considering motion. Motion. I'm talking about motion in physics. Motion is the change in what? In position. It is a, it's a change in position. Maybe as a result of what? Force, which is known as dynamic. So a motion that is caused by what? By an actual force is what we call dynamic. So dynamic is an aspect of motion. So dynamic is a branch of what? Is a branch of physics that deal with what? Motion and force. Why the branch of physics that deals with what? Motion only is called kinematics. Kinematics, kinematics. So we are going to talk about what? Kinematics. So the study of what? Of motion only is called what? Kinematics. And these motions, there are a lot of terms that we use in motion, such as distance. Number one, distance terms used, we have distance. Distance. Now, distance is a change in position of a body, for instance. Now, we have what? A line what? Line A, B. Now, the difference between here, this is a distance A, B, which is two what? Two meter so a distance is a change in position is a change between what is a change in position between two points or we can say it's a it's a, it's a distance is a line or magnitude between what two points is a, it's a size between two points a and b now a distance is is a scalar quantity please know that distance is a scalar quantity unlike displacement now we're talking about displacement here. Yeah? Displacement is another term that we use in kinematics. Displacement is a what? Is a distance in a specified direction. Distance in a specified direction. Now the difference between A and B here and the A and B here is because now the distance A B here is pointing towards what? Eastward direction. Is eastward what? Direction. So now. It's, it's having size and it's also having what? Direction. It's having magnitude also having direction. That's why this is a displacement. A displacement is a distant travel in a specified direction. So now we have distance. Distance only has magnitude and it shows the relationship between two points. It shows the size between what? Two points but without direction. Why displacement? Is a what? A distance travel in a specified direction. You can see it has magnitude and it has what direction towards east direction. Now, number eight is now what we have what we call speed. Speed is another term that we use. Speed is distance traveled per time. Distance traveled per time. The distance traveled per time, or we can say it's the rate of distance traveled. Is it what? Is a rate. Of distance or travel, that is anything that has rate means with time. With time, so there's speed because speed comes, speed is as a result of distance over time, speed is also a scalar quantity. And the unit of speed might be resort meter, and this one is what seconds. So the unit of speed is meter per seconds. Now, distance is measured in what meter, the other unit, this one is also meter, it is measured in meter. So the SI unit of speed is what is. Is what is meter per second. Now the other one I need to call known is what is is velocity. 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 Velocity is the change. Is what is what is the change in what in displacement with change in time. Velocity is defined as change in displacement. Change in displacement. Let me just use. Now, you are using S for displacement. Now, let me just use S for displacement here. Change in S for displacement 
Euler gives the normal like this change in displacement with what change its time. So we have what displacement we have the value to be x two minus x one all over what x over t two minus t one. So this is me also meter per seconds. It's also meter per seconds. So it's also meter per seconds. The unit here is meter per seconds. It's just that the difference between this and this is that velocity comes as a result of what displacement. So so come as a result of so, so this is a vector what quantity. You know that this is a displacement. The top one here is a displacement. Now why this one is with time? Time. So displacement so is distance so is displacement. That is why it is what it's a vector what quantity. And I ask you what is what which of the following is a vector what quantity? You know that velocity is a vector quantity. Displacement is a vector quantity. Why distance and what speed is a scalar quantity? Now another thing that you need to know here is the acceleration. Acceleration. Acceleration is the rate. Of change of what of velocity the rate of change of what velocity is the rate of change of what velocity so it means that change in acceleration is change in velocity with follow a change in time change in time change in time so we have what acceleration a equal to what v in which is initial velocity this is final velocity minus Initial velocity all over what time? All over time, change in time, or you write ordinary time. So t2 minus what? Then you assign t2 minus t1. So usually it's often written like v u, v minus u all over what? t. So this is what? This is velocity, this is uh, acceleration, and it is measured in meter per second square. It is measured in meter. A second square is also a vector quantity. It's also a vector quantity. So these are the what? These are the terms that we use in kinematics. Kinematics. So this thing has graphical what? representation. You can use graphical representation to represent it using velocity, this velocity time graph. You can represent this on the graph velocity what? the graphical what? representation. The graphical what? Representation. The graphical representation. We have what? We have. We have the velocity using what? Using velocity time graph. The graphical representation using velocity. Velocity time graph. Using velocity time graph. Using velocity time graph. So if you have something like this, velocity. Time graph. So this is velocity meter per seconds, and this is time measured in seconds. So here we have we have now the first point here when the body starts from rest here and it gets a particular we call this a uniform acceleration. Uniform acceleration is when 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 there is Changes in velocity with what change in time. So this is called uniform what acceleration. So when you have something like this, something like a slope, something like a a straight line what curve very bent. So we have what we have we have we an inclined line like this. We have a uniform this this is represented by what uniform acceleration. This is acceleration acceleration. You can see. Acceleration changing with what? Acceleration A. Acceleration A. Now, acceleration A. It can see the velocity is changing with what? With what? With time. We have, can call this one T1, T2, T3, and so on. Now, when a body now maintain a uniform velocity here, acceleration is set to do what? Zero. This is a uniform velocity. We call this one. This aspect is uniform what? Velocity. Where the body maintains a particular what? Velocity. A uniform velocity. So, and 
at this point, you can have T1 here, you can have T2. Then, when a body decelerates or accelerates back to rest, when a body decelerates, we call it what? Acceleration you know, in a what? A, a negative direction. So we call it deceleration or retardation. This is called deceleration or, or retardation. This is what it is just the negative aspect of this. So retardation or retardation can call this one also T3. So this is a what? This is a this is a this is a this is a graphical representation using velocity time what graph and this sloping one increasing what increasing decline line straight line here is represented acceleration which is given as what well, change in velocity with time so this is uniform velocity where acceleration is zero and this is deceleration where what where acceleration is negative, I will call it what retardation. Now, if I want to calculate the distance of this word, of this, of this, the distance covered by this velocity diagram, it's just that I will look at the shape that this thing formed. Now, this is a triangle, this is a what? This is a rectangle, this is another rectangle. But in the whole thing, now, this is a triangle. If I want to calculate the distance between here and here, if I use the area of triangle, how do you say this I this is rectangle. Eh? This is also what? Triangle. If I want to calculate each distance covered at each chest section, I will just use area of triangle. Area of to calculate the area of what? Triangle which is half base times what? Height. This one is base times what? Height. Area of this triangle here is a rectangle here is what? Base times height. If I want to calculate the this time cover in this particular what, region also area of triangle here is what is half base times what height but if I want to calculate the total distance cover the total distance cover I can calculate it in two ways total distance traveled can be calculated by adding the area of what triangle plus area of what triangle plus area of triangle but or you can also say the total distance over is equal to what area of trapezium because it looks like trapezium area of trapezium trapezium which is half into bracket a plus b times what times height now this is this is a trapezium now trapezium looks like something like this you can it looks like this this is trapezium for you so that looks like trapezium. So this is you can call this one A B and this one you can call it this is right. So so that's that about what about that. That's that about that. So now this is just a brief summary of how you can what you can present your what your your motion on a graph. And how you can discover using what? How you can calculate any of the parameters using what? Velocity time graph. That's that about that. Now let's move into what? Some what? Jump past questions on what? On motion. The question number one before us under what? Under jump is this. Now, the first question here is an Air Force jet flying with a speed. Now, an Air Force jet flying with a speed of 335 meters per second went an anti aircraft gun. How far, how far, when I say how far, it means distance. How far is the anti craft 5 seconds later when the gun was shot? Now, how far? When we are talking about how far, we are dealing with what? Distance. So, a distance job, a what? A Air Force jet solution here to what solution to jam questions. So now to jam questions here we have a Air Force jet flying with a speed. A Air Force flying with a speed. Now speed 
you have speed here, you can say speed here is equal to equal to what? 335 meters per second. Now it's learning the speed when an anti-craft gone and how far is what we are looking for the distance. Distance after five seconds. After five seconds. Very simple questions. Just use from what we what what we write wrote here the other time. Speed is equal to what distance over time. So speed is equal to distance all over what time. So we have distance over time which is 335 is equal to equal to what the distance d that we are looking for all over 5. Just cross multiply what's your d? D is equal to 335 times what? Because 9 times 5 times 5. So you have 1675 1, newton. So that's how you calculate that one. But then that one is very, very straight forward. And that's that about about that. So speed is got 35 times as a consistence or no. T is got five seconds. So you write you call because call speed because distance by time. 335 then cross multiply and that's that about that now, number two a fan fruit dropped from the top of a tree 45 meter what tall how long does it take to reach the ground now this is another question so we are told that a palm tree a palm tree that look like this a palm tree a palm tree A palm tree, which is what? Which is how many meters tall? So it's 45 meters tall. Then a fruit drop from the palm tree. A fruit, as well as the fruit, it's, it drops from the what? From the palm tree. So we have a tree drop from the palm tree. Or oh, what? Now, don't forget that. The what the height of the tree is 45 what the height of the tree is 45 meters. So the palm tree fall from a height of 45 meters. So the distance you can call it HS which is same as height is 45 what meter. Now this is a motion under gravity. My this is motion under gravity. We call it motion under gravity. What do you mean? What do you mean by graph? Gravity. Gra motion under gravity. Now, motion under gravity is a motion under what influence of what gravity. Now, when you throw an object, object up, object up, it always come down. Why? Because there is what there is what we call gravitational field over there that will keep an object that will always act an object to keep coming what down. So it is it is looking at a what a Man will fall because there is an action of gravity that acts upon the earth, the fruit. So now this motional gravity then has its job from a height. It is coming from a what? A initial velocity where it is zero degree. At this point here, your u here is equal to what? Zero. And your g is positive because it is coming downward. It is positive. Whenever you are, whenever object is being is coming downward, the g is becoming what positive until it gets what zero. But when you are throwing the what the body against the gravity, so the g is minus. So, but when is the what when the, when the body is body is coming down, then we say the g is what is positive. Now, how do you now go about this question? Now is that you recall for a what for a one of the rectilinear what, motion, you can derive the formula from what? From the rectilinear what, motion. We have something we call four rectilinear motion. Four rectilinear equation of motion. Equation of motion. Of motion. Now, we are dealing with linear motion specifically. There are different types of motion. We have linear motion, circular motion, Translational motion, simple harmonic motion, 
which is also an oscillatory motion. There are, there are some clear particular formula that you need to know for equations. There are four equations for linear what, motion that you need to know. But the first one is V equal to U plus A T. Don't forget V is velocity, which is the final velocity. U is what the initial velocity. A is equal to is acceleration. T is time. So this is the first linear what, linear equation that we have for motion. Now we have another one is what x linear equation s equal to although this is not usually counted but it's a very very important word. It's a very very important word. It means what v plus u over the average word speed times what times time. So we have that's number two. Number three we have s equal to which is also for distance. S is equal to what u t plus half a t squared u t plus half a half a t squared so another one that you need to know is the last one you need to know is v squared which is what equal to u squared plus 2 a s now i told you that the v here is the final what? final velocity final velocity u is what initial what velocity s is equal to distance distance traveled a is equal to acceleration and that is the label so this one is in velocity in meter per seconds initial velocity also in meter per second distance is in meter acceleration is in meter per second square so that is the unit now from here now you can derive motion equation of motion using this formula so now from equation four year of rectilinear equation so the first equation of rectilinear equation which is v square equal to what u square plus 2as why is this equation very very important it's because okay you can use this but I would prefer to go for this because we are looking for what the question says a path to jump from the top of a tree, a path to jump from the top of a tree of 45 meters tall. How long? How long? So we are looking for time. So this one does not have time. So I can use this one now. I will go for this. This one has time. It also has distance that I was given. Now, if you are looking for, so you are given what distance of 45 meters, that is the height. And we are looking for t so that's why i'm choosing the third equation of what motion third equation of what of motion and let's see how we are going to get it whether we are going to get it whether we are going to get it now from s and mind you you know that when we are dealing with motion under gravity your acceleration is equal to g equal to 10 meter per second square, you have to know that the acceleration due to gravity when well, we are dealing with what motion under what gravity your A is equal to acceleration due to gravity which is 10 meter per second square and remember your U is equal to zero because it is coming from a position of rest the, the back tree is a position of rest when it dropped down under, what, under the influence of gravity so substitute this into this word so what do we have? We have x is equal to ut plus half a t squared. Now s is equal to now 0 times t plus half times what is your what? A. a is your g now. So g times what? Times t squared. So everything I'm having here is x equal to what? g t squared all over what? 2. So don't forget that we are looking for time. So if I put my H to be here now, the simplified word formula, this formula will become what when you make everything similar formula, it will become T and you put S equal to H. So let me even write it out. You have H equal to G T square to H. So when you say divide by like G now, because there are sometimes you don't have time in the exam to do all these things. So I think you're dealing with the jam. So we have t squared equal to 2h all over 
g. So we take the square root of both sides, take the square root of both sides. So this one, this one. So finally now your t is equal to 2h all over g. So note this formula. When a body is being dropped, when a body is being dropped from a rod, from a from its height. So t is equal to 2h over g. Now let's substitute our value into this word formula now. So t is equal to square root of what? What is your what is your h now? H is 45. That is 2 times 45 all over. What's your g? G is 9, 10. So we have 10. So we have 90 over 10, which is square root of 9, which is 30 what? 30 seconds. So the time is of 30 seconds. We will have it there. E, the answer is E, this one is D. So that's that about that. So as you can see how we systematically what solve the word problems. Please note all these things. They are very, very what essential. And that's why I've written it out for you. So now let's move to the next question. Question number what, three. Question number three. We have what? We have the figure below shows the velocity what? Time graph of a car which starts from what rest it start from rest. That's where you can see the diagram. Start from zero here. This is zero the point zero. That's why it says it starts from rest. And it accelerates uniformly at the rate of what? Three meter per second squared. Now this is the, it accelerates uniformly at the rate of three meter per second squared. So your acceleration here uniformly here is three meter per second square now for five seconds now for five square points so it means when you trace this one down here now i'm going to have what five what seconds now it attains a velocity which is maintained for one minute now it now travel it maintains this velocity from here to here for about one minute now when you take one minute so from here to here, it maintains the what? The velocity. When you trace it down here now, what will be the time? It said for one minute. If you take that one minute to isolate it, which is seconds. So one times what? One times 60 seconds now. So this place will be what? This one is 60 what? 60 seconds. 60 what? Now, this is one times six, Abby. So we have 60 seconds. We have 60 seconds here. 60 seconds. This one now plus five, it becomes what 60 what? 65. 65 seconds because I have add 60 to it. So because for me to is five seconds, for me to here will be what 65 because there's an addition of 60. So now and then we are told that the car is then brought back to rest. It's not decelerate, this is what we call deceleration. Back to what? Back to rest for by a uniform iteration, as you can see, it's a uniform. That's why it's a straight, it's a straight inclined line. So the car is then brought to rest by a uniform iteration after another three seconds. So this is three seconds here plus the five is only sixty-eight seconds. So we have five seconds, sixty-five seconds, sixty-eight. So this is a diagram, or this is the interpretation of the diagram. Now let me now do it. I'm gonna do it now. So the question says calculate the total distance covered. Calculate the total distance covered. If I draw the diagram out there, let me draw the diagram here. So it's something like this. We are having something like this. You can see the boy now wasting all the time. So here we have three water. So here are these three meters per second square for the acceleration. It accelerates uniformly. Then, at what? At for five seconds. Then it takes your uniform what? speed for about one minute. The next one minute. So it means 60. This is 60 seconds. So for this one, it's got what? 65 seconds. Now, and it accelerates for the next another three seconds. So maybe this is three seconds. This one is now what? 63 plus 65. So you have 68 seconds. So 
this is the aspect, this is the what? The diagrammatic representation of the journey. journey. So now, calculate the distance cover. So what do you use? You just use area. I told you that distance, that distance cover is in that the area of the word shape form. So total distance cover now. Total distance covered or traveled is equal to area of trapezium. This area of trapezium look like trapezium. Trapezium. So which is equal to half the bracket A plus B times what? Height. And this is your A. This is from here to here is your A. From here to here is your A. From here to here is your what? B. So we have your B here. And the distance between here is your what? Is your B. So we have your B and the height is here. The height H. Now to calculate the height H, because your A itself is A is from here to here, which is 60 seconds, 60. So our your B is from here to here, which is 68. But what about your H? Your H will be what? Look at this. Your age is saved as velocity or intrinsicity, yeah? saved as the velocity here. Yeah? Velocity, you know, this, is, this is time, this is velocity. As you get velocity, velocity, the yeah. area is equivalent to your age, is equivalent to your velocity here. Yeah? And to get your velocity, you use acceleration called the velocity over what? Time. So, this is acceleration, this is what? The time for the what? Acceleration, the number of acceleration now is what? So, substituting so your area is 3. 3 meter per seconds, your velocity, your velocity, your velocity, your velocity, your velocity is what we are looking for, which is equivalent to the h. So, v all over time. The time taken for the acceleration is 5. So, you just cross multiply. So, your v here is equal to 3 times 5, which is what? 15 meter per seconds. So, it is same as your height, which is 15. So, your h here is also what? 15. So now let's substitute into this word. So the total distance traveled, total distance covered or traveled, total distance is equal to half into bracket what is your age? 60 plus 68 times what? Times 15 here. Yeah. So this one is 1 times this one. This one is 128. 128. Times 15. So this one, one, two year, one, two year, 60, 64. 64. Now when you multiply this by 15, what do you have? 64 times 15. That is, that is, that is 320 plus 64 now. That will give what? Nine hundred and sixty meter. So that is the answer. Nine hundred and sixty meter. Which answer is that? And option what? Option B. Option B. Option what? Option C rather. Option C. Option C. So that is that about that. Now let's look into question number what? Number four. It seems they look alike. They look alike because they got good problem as well. Now you can see this, this, in this case here, this object does not start from where it starts from initial velocity of what? The initial velocity here is what? 2 meter per second. You can see it does not start from where or like this. This is 2 meter per second. Then the final velocity here, you have to read it out. This is what? This is around 8. This is around 9. This is around this is nine. So if I'm going to read this one now, it is one, two, three, four, five. Now you know this is one, two, three, four. That last one will be what is five. So one, two, three, four. So at each will be what two. This is two point eight point two, eight point four, eight point six. So if you trace this one now out of here now, you know this eight point what seven. This is 8.7 here, so the final velocity here is 8.7 meter per seconds. 
initial velocity is what? This is V, 8.7 meter per second, and the initial velocity is 2 meter per second. So meter per second. Now, the time here, this is also, this one also starts from zero. The time starts from zero seconds, and it what? End in what? 10. 10 seconds. So, to calculate the acceleration, I'm using graphically. Calculate the determine the acceleration. That was one of the questions. What is the acceleration? So we want to do this question now. Let me just partition the board here. So the acceleration for the question four is what? Change in velocity with change in time, which is v minus u all over t two minus t one. So we have that is. 8.7 minus what? That is the initial velocity. That is final velocity minus 2. So divide by 10. This is t2. And this is t1. So we have what? 10 minus 0. So we have 6.7 all over 10. So I divide it. What's I have? 0.67 meter per second squared. That's the answer. So A. A is the answer. And lastly, and lastly, and lastly, a mango fruit drops from a branch 10 meters above the word ground. A mango fruit drop from a branch 10 meters above the word the ground. Just just before eating the ground, its velocity is what? What is the velocity just before eating the ground? So this is also a what? A, a motion under what? Under gravity. So we have a, a mango tree. This one is a little bit. A, a mango tree whose branch is what? This is the branch of mango tree. This is the mango tree itself. Is what? This branch is. We are told that this branch is, is 10 meters above the ground. So it's 10 meters above the ground. And that is the distance. And we are told that we should calculate the velocity at which the what the mango is before it gets to the ground. Now when it's coming from what the position of rest, so we know that the initial velocity is equal to what? The initial velocity is u equal to zero because it has rest. Before it fall down, before the gravity act upon it. So now, now the v is what we are asking for, but the initial velocity is zero. Now we know that when the body is coming down, the a is positive what g. What is again? We are given we are given height, which is h equal to h, which is ten meter. So. What else again? So how do we now relate this? We are given all these parameters. The only value that we can use, the formula that relates all these parameters together is v squared, u squared plus 2as. So now let's do it now. We have what v squared go to what? 0 plus 2gh, the height. So we have v go to square root of 2gh. Now let's do it together now. V equal to what? Now you know the expression is this one is constant meter per second squared. This constant as the constant 10 meter per second squared or 9.8 meter per second squared, depending on what they are given to you. So 2 times 10 times what? What is your h? Your h is also 10. So you have v is equal to square root of 2 times what? Square root of 2 times 100. Remember that the square root of 100 is 10. So we have v equal to 10 root 2 parameters squared. Meter per, meter per second squared. Meter per second squared. So that is why v equal to 10 root 2 meter per second squared. So that is the answer option A. So we've come to the end of today's class. Please, if you have not yet subscribed to this YouTube channel, please do well to press the subscribe button and the notification button in order to be able to serve more people better. Thanks for watching and God bless you. See you next time.